time to talk about February's budget. Okay, so the income I am expecting this month is $10,477. Now, I have right here in my little blue notes, it's not finalized. And the reason why it's not finalized is because as I told, said before, I have a new job that comes with a new income and I don't have everything squared away as far as, first of all, I haven't received my first paycheck yet. Second of all, I have not, well, I just did my um, deductions today for my taxes. So on my first paycheck, I have zero deductions. So they're going to take out everybody's taxes, mine, yours, my mom is everybody's. And um, I haven't did my 401k. I just haven't set my financial business up as far as the new job is concerned, my health benefits, all of that stuff. So I have to finalize those things. So this is a wag at what my income will be. Also, I'm doing something. Well, I did something a little different. I counted $2,000 in here that I expect to receive this month, but I don't have anything saying that this money is actually going to be coming to me this month. So that guess is a, is a hope. Um, and that's from the car insurance stuff. So I'm hoping that the title stuff gets squared away. And I'm also hoping that we square away getting the other driver's information. Normally, I wouldn't even count that in my budget until it's a sure thing. But I didn't want to have a huge um, difference between what I was saying I was going to get at the beginning of the month and then what I actually got. So that's why I put it in here. We'll see what happens. So if it's down by $2,000, you all know why. $625 gifts. Um, some birthdays are coming up this month, and that's included in that $625. $95 HOA, $100 gas. Things that are highlighted means that there's some sort of a change. And the change here is I'm expecting to start receiving a gas bill again. And my heat hasn't been working properly and I haven't had anybody come out to fix it. And so therefore, I know that between gas and electricity, something is going to be high this month because um, things have been running constantly to try to keep the house warm. And warm for me is a 70, 69 to 70 degrees. Um, we... As a lot of you know, I do Dave Ramsey zero-based budget. So what that means is that when we take this top line, I keep deducting things all the way till I get down to zero. I'm giving every single dollar that I plan to make an assignment. Um, so $200 of that, the assignment will go to the electricity bill. $250 for the cell phone and $115 for cable. $125 on the home security systems, $10 Netflix, $105 insurances. The reason why that number is down because right now I'm paying insurance on two cars versus three due to the car accident. Um, $25 in tolls. And this is different because I normally don't pay tolls every month. But the reason why, because I also, if you guys remember, I paid $25 for tolls last month too. And I guess I've been taking the toll roll um, a little too much. But, yeah. Okay, so $770, my rentals homeowner association. I pay that once a year and I usually just pay it straight. Okay, $748 I set aside for my car rental. I'm paying about... I don't know. Again, I'm taking a guess about 187 a week. And so for four weeks, that is what that will come to if I need the car for four weeks. The new car that I ordered, it's going to take four to six weeks to come in. Um, and so I'll be renting a car in the meantime. $60 in timeshare late fee, y'all. My timeshare fee, maintenance fee was due on the 2nd. I got around to paying it on the 6th. Four days late, they gave me a $50 fee plus like $11 in interest for those four days. I think it's bogus and that is what first prompted me to get in touch with the Timeshare Exit team. Um, $3,100 to mortgage. And that's a change too because that's just bare mortgage because I'm um, refocusing all of my extra money to the car, to the car situation. Um, 300, I mean 300, 
will go to my savings, aka the car, and $700 is the rest. The rest equals groceries, car gas, entertainment, restaurants, miscellaneous. And I increased that a little bit simply because um, for this year, I plan not to do so many vacations. So I gave myself a little more room in this extracurricular spending. Plus there's a few things I need, like a hard drive for my YouTube business. I'm running out of space everywhere. And um, who knows, I probably need shoes. I'm a little raggedy right now. Anyways, that brings us down to zero. So there you have it. That is my zero base budget. A la Dave Ramsey. And this is my February budget.